Hey dental fans, Dr. Rich here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to use your custom whitening trays to bleach your teeth. So here we have my custom whitening trays. Got my uh, upper tray and my lower tray. It's just a uh, storage box. I'm gonna put that off to the side and here's the bleaching gel. So let me take out some of the bleaching gel, take a tube out. There you go. All right, so this is how I like to load them and I will show you how to load them. I will show you how to insert them properly and then I'll also show you how to clean them afterwards uh, so that you can get as much life out of them as you can because if you take care of these bleaching trays, you can actually use them for a really long time and you don't, you, won't necessarily need to get a new set made unless you have some major changes, like uh, you get a couple crowns replaced or you lose a tooth, things like that. Uh, I don't even wanna tell you how long I've had these trays uh, for. I, I'm i gonna guess it's probably getting close to 20 years. Uh, so, I mean, it's not something that I use every day. I use them in the, used them in the beginning to whiten my teeth and now it's just a matter of touching it up uh, one or two days a month. All right. So, so first I like to tell people, hold the trays so that they look like a U. You can see the U shape. And, uh, you know, and to tell the, the difference between upper and lower, uh, upper has the two large front teeth, lowers have little front teeth. So that's easy to tell from that. But let's take the bleaching gel. So it comes in these little tubes, looks like a syringe basically. And it's got a funky little cap on the end. So this, you just kind of twist off and break off. Don't throw this out though, because you can use that as a cap. That'll go back on the end when you're done dispensing the bleach and that'll seal it up. Because each tube of bleaching gel is not just one time use. You could easily get uh, two or three days of gel out of each tube. All right, so I'm gonna show you two different ways of loading the tube. I'm gonna demonstrate one technique on the lower, one technique on the upper, and then you could play around, see which one works better for you. And I'll tell you about the differences as well. So, all right, so we take the tube, take the little cap off again, and then you hold the tray. And the first method, this is the one Ultradent recommends, is just to lay a continuous bead of gel. So basically you start in the back, and so as it's a U shape, you want to, uh, place the gel on the outside of the U, not the inside, because the outside is the part of the teeth that you can see. So you start in the back and you just run basically a bead, kind of like as if you're caulking. Just one, just run kind of a strip of it all the way through. You know, if it starts, if it comes out in little clumps, you know, try to thin that out because there's not a lot of space in these bleaching trays. Even if uh, they were made with uh, what's called a reservoir, just basically extra space on the uh, cheek side of the tooth, the part you see, uh, there's really not that much space. So if you use too much, it's just gonna ooze out and you're just gonna waste it. All right, so that's loaded that way. So pros and cons of this method is it's easy to just run a bead like that. Oh, and when you're done running, pull back on the plunger because this material's a little sticky, a little thick. Sometimes uh, as you squeeze it, it kind of keep will keep oozing out of the tip and you don't want to waste it, no reason to. So you pull back on it and it'll stop. Uh, but anyway, getting back to this, so this is easy to do, easy to accomplish, but I always find that it tends to uh, put a little bit too much gel in the tray, for, for me anyway, and I, it seems like more of it oozes out. So a second technique, uh, it's a little bit harder to do, uh, but you don't use as much gel, is for the outside, just put like a little blob, just a little little dot of bleaching gel. Uh, so what makes this tricky is because the gel is a little sticky, you gotta kinda put the tip on the outside there, squeeze a little, little blob of it out, and then you gotta kinda rub uh, the tip of the syringe to kind of break the, the gel off. So, so it does, so you don't pull it back out or, uh, so you keep doing that and you just do a little dot on each tooth. And then just as you go, 
do the same thing. Little blob, little bob, pull off. Little bob, pull off. Uh, that one, that one pulled, as you can see. Little blob, and just kind of wipe it on the in between parts. Another little blob, pull off. Little blob, pull off. Little blob, pull off. And let me show you what it what happens if you don't uh, wipe it against it. You just a little blob, and you can see how it kind of stretched out. I'm going to do it again. It's pretty sticky. See there, I was able to pull it back up into the syringe. So a little blob, pull off. A little blob, pull off. A little bob, pull off. All right. So now that the uh, both trays are loaded, again, you want to pull back on the gel, on the uh, syringe to get the suck the gel back in. Let me show you a close up of that. You can see the gel oozing out and pull back on the syringe uh, there we go get it back in, in it goes back into the syringe and then you could put the cap on it and whatever you know the the tubes of gel that you're still using the ones you haven't used yet i tell people it, they get a lot you'll get a longer shelf life out of out of them if you stick them in the refrigerator don't let them freeze but you know just on the door of the fridge is fine it'll keep a little bit longer uh, because if they get too hot or, uh, you know, if the gel gets too old, too, another thing, uh, even if you have some old gel that's past its expiration date, it'll still work as long as it hasn't separated. And, you know, as long as it comes out in a gel and rather than a liquid, uh, you can still use it. Basically, you know, I whiten my teeth with all the expired gel that I get from home. Uh, you know, that I uh, bring back from the office every, you know, the stuff that I buy uh, to give to patients. Uh, if, if it uh, expires before I can hand it all out, then I bring it home and use it, and it works. All right, I'm going to change views now so that I can, for this next part, so I can show you how to insert them. All righty, so to insert the trays, it's going to be the same technique for the top. So you take the tray, uh, you know, this is the lower one. Again, it's got the smaller teeth up front. So basically you insert it. I'm sure your dentist show you how to insert that. And once it's in, you press down on the biting surface all around, and then you take your finger and press, you know, press around against the sides of the teeth, and then take your finger and then just wipe off any extra gel that oozes out. So let me grab a napkin so I can wipe my finger on it afterwards. So again, lower one. Ha, ha, ha. Press, press, press. Press against the sides. And again, then you take your finger. Any extra gel that oozes off, just wipe it off. Because the bleaching gel works great on your teeth, but if, it, if you leave it on your gums, it can burn them, irritate them. Uh, so by removing it as quick as you can, uh, it minimizes the chances of that. Uh, and the reason to press down and uh, that's to make sure that it's seated fully and to press against the sides of the teeth is to make sure the gel gets onto the teeth and gets all smushed in and oozes everywhere it's supposed to be. And then you do the same thing with the top. Again, two bigger front teeth. Press it down so it's in. Press against the sides and then take your finger. Wipe the gel off, wipe it in a napkin, and then you wear your trays. Then when you're done bleaching for whatever recommended time your dentist told you to bleach for, you take the trays out, grab one at the top, grab the bottom. So the tray you'll You'll notice again that the gel is fairly sticky, so you can you'll feel it on your teeth, uh, and you'll taste it as well. Uh, so once you take the trays out, go ahead and rinse out really well. Really well. I find that the gel is sticky enough that it uh, makes more sense just to uh, quick brush my teeth. I don't even use any toothpaste. I just wet my toothbrush and brush all around where the gel was to get the gel off. With the trays, 
Uh, you take them in, into the sink, rinse them under cold water. You don't want to use hot water because this plastic uh, will distort, it will melt, and then you'll ruin the trays. So cold water, rinse them out really, really well. A little bit of gel stays in there, not a big deal, but you could always just take your toothbrush and then just gently brush inside under the cold running water to uh, clean the trays up. And then just leave them out to dry and they'll be ready for the, your next day of bleaching. So I hope you all found this very helpful and thank you all so much for watching. See you in the next video.